My name is Brendan Hughes, I'm the Director of ICU Security Services and we provide the security for the Carnival. What's involved in security for the Carnival then? We're in charge of the full security operations for the whole of the Carnival event from the clock tower all the way to the battery and back again. We also are in charge of the base stage, lost children, looking after the bar areas and providing roaming patrols for the site as a whole. In the licensed area we're looking at ensuring that anybody who looks under 25 provides ID to ensure they're over 18. Although this year in the bar areas we have an area just for families where younger children with the families will be allowed in to enjoy the carnival atmosphere. We're also in charge of ensuring that people don't take drinks out of the licensed area, which is a condition on our licence. And we're also just there to make sure that everybody's there having a good time, not drinking too much alcohol, living to the carnival party atmosphere. What about lost children? Do you get many? Last year's carnival, we had around six cases of lost children. How do you lose children? Well, I think it's more children lose the parents. Right. We have a, a lost child procedure that we share with the carnival. We train the carnival stewards on it. We also train the carnival organisers on it, so we're all singing off the same hymn sheet. Following that procedure, we ensure that the children are reunited, which we managed a 100% record last year. Excellent. What's the biggest problem with security then? The biggest problem we had last year was in the parade. It was an unknown quantity for the carnival and for us. It was our first carnival parade. We were just sort of trying to deal with the public who hadn't seen a carnival of that size in Morecambe for a great many years. We were just looking after pinch points. Ensuring that the carnival could get through was a big issue. But the carnival have taken steps this year to ensure the order of, of the procession will ensure a, a better flow, uh, which should make our job easier. Are you prepared for, uh, for it this year then? Yeah, we were prepared last year, but this year we've gained some experience and last year we were expecting 5,000 people, so we planned security on 5,000. This year obviously we are expecting a lot more over the weekend so we have put security arrangements in place for that. We're in charge of training all the stewards. The stewards aren't necessarily security trained so we just have to make sure that we assist them in any way we can with the correct level of training and also supervision on the day. This year we have around 130 stewards to look after as well as our security teams. Do you enjoy the carnival then? I do, yeah. We'd, I didn't really see much of it last year. You see bits and bats and you're called away to an incident. So the main dome arena is where I was most of my time. I enjoyed it because the people of Morecambe enjoyed it and there was a serious party atmosphere and, and that's what Morecambe's been missing for a lot of years now. So you're glad to see it back? Definitely, yeah. The Carnival Committee ploughing a lot of spare time and especially the event organiser, Alan from MMX, he's sort of an unsung hero with the Carnival. If he puts any query with the Carnival, goes to Alan and he steers us in the right direction with it. Thank you very much.